Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the peer-to-peer -peer networking and bus topology with Cisco Packet Tracer tool and the implementation steps in easy way. So let's start the video with a brief introduction of peer-to-peer -peer networking and bus topology. So here, the peer-to-peer -peer networking is the net type of networking where we are connecting the equal nodes and both can function as server and client simultaneously. So no node is superior than other means the uh, no node is having higher priority or the lower priority both are at same level both are peers are connected to each other without any intermediate or centralized node. Next we have the bus topology where where we have each node connected to a single cable or we also call it the backbone cable like here we have this as the backbone cable where all devices are connected and dependable okay so if this back, back backbone cable is down the network is also down means the connection won't happen if anything happen with this cable means if this cable is not not working then the network is also not working so for this we have certain device to act as repeaters here means we have all the connections are made through some devices that act as the repeater so with cisco packet tracer tool when we will be implementing this topology we will be using switch switches as repeater okay so we will be using switches as end devices and repeaters to connect the systems in the LAN or for this bus topology LAN because for transmitting the signal from one device to another we need to boost the signal so here the device will act as the repeater it will receive the signal from one device and then transmit to other device and in between they will boost the signal for further transmission so we will be using switches as end devices means uh, the bus topology in bus topology one device will act as the starting node and another device or the connected in the last will act as the ending node so we will be using switches as end and starting node and as well as for the repeaters with cisco packet tracer tool okay so let's start the practical demonstration so simply uh, firstly we will be uh, connecting peer-to-peer -peer network for end devices so we are selecting two end devices one is this and another I am taking this laptop so you can connect any two device so here for simplicity if we are connecting similar devices as laptop and system are a kind of same device so we will be using crossover cable if you need to connect different devices distinct devices in the network then you will be using straight through cable so here for crossover cable I need to use the fast ethernet port manually means I am selecting that I need to connect to the fast ethernet mode so these two devices are connected in fast ethernet or we can say that ethernet port okay so here we just need to configure these devices for communication because without configuration without IP address they won't be recognizable in the network so here I am giving class C address as 192.168.100.1 for first system okay and the subnet mask is automatically taken as it is a class C address right next configure another system so here I am giving it as host ID 2 so this is the system on the same network with same class C network but host ID as 2 and the subnet mask is taken automatically the configuration is done both systems are connected so let check the connection by ping command as we have green dots over here that that indicates already indicating the connection is active but still we need to check through ping command so here I am using terminal of command prompt of system 2 so here with from system 2 I am trying to ping system 1 192.168.100.1 if this ping is successful that means the both systems are connected to each other and we got sent 4 received 4 lost 0 
that means connection is okay so we can also demonstrate it with the help of simple packet data by sending a simple packet data unit or pdu so let's try to send from this source to this destination and the status is successful let's simulate this so here packet is sent from system 1 to system 2 and system 2 has received the packet successfully and acknowledged the system 1 in response okay so here the simulation was also successful that means our peer to connect peer connection is okay you can also try sending the packet from this system to to the uh, first system and the status is successful let's delete the first here i am deleting the first pdu to simulate the second one only so here i am sending the second packet from second system to one first system and in response first sec uh, system is acknowledging the received packet okay so the connection is successful now let's uh, firstly we need to convert the system to the bus topology okay because we have to create bus topology so we need to delete this connection because all the devices will be connected through backbone cable only so i am just deleting it select delete button and then delete now i will be adding one more system here for uh, backbone two more system one two more end devices i have added here this now i need to add switches for the interconnection of these systems okay so i will be using switch for interconnection as we have discussed so here we have selected switch one switch for every device because we cannot connect the devices directly so here i have selected four switches to connect four devices now let's simply connect them through the connecting cables so if you are not sure about the crossover or uh, straight through cable you can select the first option that is automatically choose the connection type so by this it will automatically automatically select the port to be connected and also the type of cable for the connection it will automatically select everything and it also saves time so here i am simply selecting the automatic connection type we have not provided ip address to newly connected systems that task is still pending so uh, let's just make connections first then we will provide ip addresses because switches take time to configure so that's why i am making the connections first as we can see the red dots over here these red dots will be turned to green once the connection is active active so switch is taking time switch take booting time as switch is intelligent device active device and a mix of hardware and software so it is taking time to be uh, time for booting process so let's configure these two newly added system i am providing it as host id 3 in the sequence as i have already assigned id 1 and two so this system is assigned with host id as 3 and mask for last system i am providing the id host id as dot 4 and the subnet mask is taken automatically the connection is okay all the system or end nodes end systems are configured and the connection is also active now we can see the green dots so let's try to ping the systems so now i am trying to send the system 5 system pc5 here labeled as pc5 you can also change labels here so suppose i am labeling it as target system and this is our source system because i need to check whether our source is connected to target system or not so here i am sending or i am running a ping command from our source system to the target system
now dots are green so let's run the command ping dot hundred dot four if we had red dot here we will get the timeout error with ping command but as the dot turn green so i am getting the status as successful four packet sent and four received and lost is zero okay so you have to wait uh, until we get the active connection for these connections right so let's start simulation by sending a PDU simple packet data unit from source to destination here is the source and here is the destination and we get the status as successful we also have previous uh, packet data unit also so we have deleted the previous packet sent via the peer to peer connection so here i am sending the packet from this source to this target and the status is successful let's simulate it with the simulating environment here you can also use the shortcut shift s for simulation the packet is sent from source and here the switches are acting as repeaters or terminal the packet will gradually reach to the target and now the packet is with target means successfully delivered now in response to that packet the target node is sending the acknowledgement the acknowledgement is with intermediate switch another intermediate node and now to the target switch means the switch connecting the source node so here the packet is successfully acknowledgement is successfully received to the target node so this was the bus topology thanks and hopefully you have learned something with this video thanks for watching and keep learning